Hi, I'm Kristen Coates, Assistant Superintendent for School Leadership and Support. Thanks for all of the hard work you're doing to prepare our students for college and career. Living an active lifestyle is a key component in becoming an engaged global citizen. Physical education is a critical part in a child's education, especially as we think about educating the whole child. PE instructional programs provide students with the skills and knowledge they need to establish and sustain physical activity as a key component of their lifestyle. PE can lead to the improved connectedness, mood, and reduced childhood obesity. Ed Code states that schools are required to provide 200 minutes of physical education every 10 school days. NUSD, along with many other school districts throughout the state of California, are required to track and report out on first through sixth grade PE minutes. Now I want to introduce you to Director Dave Nickerson, who helped launch Elementary Athletics. Hello everyone. With these new requirements, the Thomas Unified School District has had to look at new processes to ensure our schools will be in compliance with these standards. The primary changes we need to implement are Students will need to receive 200 minutes of physical education for every 10 days of class. And we have a process to track and ensure that we are meeting these standards. Currently, our PE specialists provide 180 minutes to fourth and fifth grade students every 10 days, and 120 minutes to first through third grade students every 10 days. This means that we are not reaching the minimum number of PE minutes. To reach the minimum standards, all general education teachers are required to teach the remaining minutes needed to satisfy the requirement. Fourth and fifth grade teachers will need to increase their PE minutes by 20 minutes every 10 days. And first through third grade teachers will need to increase their PE minutes by 80 minutes every 10 days. We will be providing sample lessons in the Instructional Support Center for your convenience. You can also reach out to your site PE specialist for lessons to support student learning. Your site administrator will provide specific guidelines and expectations. Lastly, we have created a very easy tracking system. Using Infinite Campus, it will only take a few moments to log the information so that your principal and the district can ensure we are meeting the PE requirements. I now want you to see an Infinite Campus tutorial video by Jay Elmquist. Take it away, Jay. Thanks, Dave. My job today is to show you how to record your PE minutes at any point during the week when you, when you need to record them. You'll log into Infinite Campus, and in Infinite Campus, once you're logged in, you will see Take Attendance. So you'll be on your Attendance tab, and you'll take attendance. And once you're finished with attendance, you will probably move right to the Message Center. So when you click on the Message Center, this is what you'll see here on this page. You'll notice that there'll be a survey, and only one survey. It will say Daily PE Minutes, Reporting Period 16, or Reporting Period 17, or Reporting Period 1, depending on where we are during the school year. Once you get to this piece, and only, like I said, only one reporting period will show, you'll go ahead and click on that. Once you've clicked on the link, you'll see that there's a start button on here. You can read this page and it talks, gives you a few instructions here. Click on start. And then you've gotten to the place where you'll actually record minutes. You'll notice that you need to choose your school. Be very careful when you're choosing your school and make sure you choose the correct one. So we want you to choose the school that you're at. Let's say that you work at Witter Ranch, so you're choosing Witter Ranch the date of provided minutes. So this is the day that you're recording. There's an easy way to fill in this date and what you'll do is click on the calendar and actually click the word today if you're recording something for that date. Otherwise you can click on the date itself here. Who provided the PE minutes? Was it a PE teacher? A homeroom teacher? Someone else that provided those PE minutes? Notice that you can choose more than one choice here. So if it was the PE teacher and the homeroom teacher that provided the extra minutes for that day, you can go ahead and click the checkboxes for both of those. Let's say it was just the homeroom teacher. So the homeroom teacher provided all of the extra minutes for that day. 
we chose a school of Witter Ranch, we chose the date for the minutes provided, we chose the person who provided PE minutes, and then we type in the number of minutes here in whole numbers uh, that we gave for the student that day. So there were 10 minutes provided today by a homeroom teacher, the person who's logged in um, at Witter Ranch on the 3rd. I complete that survey. Once you get to this page, you'll click the close survey button right here. And then when you've closed that, it returns you to Infinite Campus where you can do the work of whatever you need to do, grading in your gradebook, taking attendance for another course, whatever it is you need to do. That's all it is. It's a very easy thing. We want you to do that on a daily basis. Please do that. And with that, I'm gonna send it back over to Kristen. So here you go. We really appreciate all of the efforts that teachers do on a daily basis to help the students of NUSD succeed.